Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to solve one-step subtraction inequalities. Now, when we solve inequalities, we want to isolate the variable, get it by itself on one side of the inequality. We do that by using inverse operations, opposite operations. Basically, we use an inverse operation to undo another operation, and this will isolate the variable. So this is just like when we solve equations. Let's jump into number one, where we have y minus two is greater than five. So we need to solve this. We need to isolate the variable of y. Now two is being subtracted from y. So we need the inverse operation of subtraction. The inverse operation of subtraction is addition. So add two to the left side of the inequality. Whatever we do to one side of an inequality, we must do to the other in order to keep it balanced. So add two to the right side as well. Now, as far as the left side, these twos cancel each other out. So y is now isolated. We have y is greater than, and then on the right side, five plus two gives us seven. So y is greater than seven. And that's our answer. So any value greater than seven is a solution of this inequality. It makes it true. And let's check a solution to make sure we are correct here. Now we can't check every value greater than seven. That would be impossible. We have an infinite amount of possibilities as far as solutions, values that make this inequality true. So what we can do, we can check one value or more if we would like to see if this works. So we need to use any value greater than seven here and plug it in for y. Let's use 12. So plug in 12. We have 12 minus two is greater than five. 12 minus two gives us 10. 10 is greater than five, so this does work. We are correct here. Our answer again for number one, y is greater than seven. Let's move on to number two where we have negative six is less than or equal to c minus three. So we are subtracting three from c here. We need the inverse operation of subtraction. That's addition, so add three to the right side of the inequality. That means we need to add three to the left side as well. Now, as far as the right side, these threes cancel each other out. C is now isolated, so we have C is greater than or equal to, and then on the left side, negative six plus three gives us negative three. So C is greater than or equal to negative three. Now, one thing we can do here is rewrite the inequality with the variable coming first. It can make it easier to work with inequalities, so keep this in mind. And all we need to do is flip it. So we need our variable C, and then our symbol, we need to make sure is going the correct way. So it's opening up towards C. We need C to be greater than or equal to negative three. So again, we can rewrite this with the variable coming first if we prefer. Now let's check a solution. So we need any value greater than or equal to negative three. Let's try four. So we will plug in four for C. So we have four minus three. Four minus three gives us one and negative six is less than or equal to one, so that does work. Our answer for number two, C is greater than or equal to negative three. So C can be any value greater than or equal to negative three. So there you have it. There's how to solve one step subtraction inequalities. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, Peace.